Hey guys, it's me. Um, mine to do a quick unboxing video. I just got this today. It is I didn't take this so it's gonna pop open. It's loot crate. Um, it's a subscription box. It's <laughs> it would help if I put it the right way. Loot crate. It is very similar to Nerd Block, horror, um, horror Block, Arcade Block, all that. It is over random. $19.99 a month, but plus tax and shipping and whatnot. I'll give you the complete total. So you won't be like, hey, you lied. You said it was $19.99, but it's this. When did I use? Nerd. Loot Crate is nineteen ninety five. Um, I got a three dollar off coupon. So if you put F B three, I believe it is, you get three dollars off your first box. Um, when I do my horror block because I already did my nerd block, but I didn't tape it. Um, there's I have codes for those too. So they're not. Like anybody can use these codes, but like they weren't given to me. They're from their Facebook page. So I want to see when did I use my freaking what the fuck are you charging me a dollar? Mm. So I already untaped it cut the tape off so it can be easy to open. I want to know what So, first things first, is this, I see this, it is um, Q-Pop, and it's a little Batman, um, the animated series, the classic TV series, so it's like a little one. They also have Catwoman, Superman, nobody cares about Superman, so Jeremy would freaking love this, so this is his birthday present, like I had no clue. I guess the theme, the theme is superheroes, and I already see another Batman thing that he's going to love. So this is this. It's like a little action figure. Next, I see this Star Trek air freshener in vanilla. Can't smell it, but it's nerdy. Next is this Zelda wristband. I don't know anybody who likes Zelda, so... I used to have a boyfriend that loves Lala, but I'm not with him, so I'll just that. And then I see a Batman bottle opener, keychain, flathead screwdriver, and a crosshead screwdriver multi tool. It's actually pretty heavy, so there's that. And here is Blue Crate July. It's Heroes 2, so all these are heroes related. See what this is. It's a poster, obviously. And it says she can do it, and it's Wonder Woman. Back in here. And who says this? Circle can't fit into square hole. And then last but not least, there's one. It's the League of a uh, regrettable superhero, the Loot Crate Edition. <clears throat> so I guess these are like all superheroes that were cheesy and that didn't make it. Look up in the sky, it's a bee, it's a witch, it's a giant eyeball. You know about Batman, Superman, and Spider-Man, but have you heard of Dollman, Doctor Hormone, or Spider Queen? In the League of Regrettable Superheroes, you'll meet 50 of the strangest superheroes ever to see print, complete with backstories, vintage art, and colorful commentary. So these are all ones that used to be superheroes that are no longer superheroes.
Like the bouncer, Dollyman, um, Captain Freedom. So, yes, that used to be like Captain America. And then War Woman, War Nurse. Nightmare and Sleepy. Um, we're on the Space Knight. So, this seems pretty interesting. Okay, next is Brawlhalla, White Fang Nash, Le Legend Skin Long, Tooth Spear Skin, Howling Skull, Hammer Skin. Nash, Gash, whatever, Legend, oh, it's like a game on Steampunk, on Steam, my bad, and Steam is very expensive, oh, it's free to play platform brawler, so I guess it's free to play, but you need to pay to download it, because with all freaking Steam, and like, this is like the inside of the box, it says, flip me inside out. So let's just create inside out. Okay. So you just put it together, I guess? Or How the fuck do you do that? I guess it's supposed to be like some like little setup or whatever. Roman's like, why? Okay, this is like the last thing. It's the Loot Crate magazine. Holly, here we go again. Robin from Batman. TV show 1966 to 1968. Our awesomely Epic Undertaking deserves a stunning sequel, so Loot Crate presents Heroes 2. In a world where bad eggs and, and madman run amok, where evil bearded doubles hold sway, and boorish wizards will do anything in pursuit of magic golden triangles. So I guess that has something to do with Zelda. You can always count on heroes to save the day. This month we have several brave and bold items from DC Entertainment, including exclusive figures, a licensed Zelda wearable, and an enterprising Star Trek item with a whiff of whimsy, and our very first hardcover looter edition book. This is the loot you deserve and the loot you need right now. And then, these are all people that got, like, the first blue crate, I guess. Um, whatever. A Wonder Woman and Batman, A Brief History. And then, like, and then it just goes into Animated Affair, Bat Gets Boot, Batman and Wife, A Kiss Before Dying, Blackest Night, Night, Superwoman and Owlman, Bat Trails, Two Thirds of a tr Trinity. I think there's that one. And Free History, my head. And then here, this month's Mega Crate valued at over $2,500. Um, limited Edition Rise of the Tomb 
Raider 500 gigabyte Xbox One console, HTC One M9 smartphone, Legend of Zelda Shield backpack, Triforce wallet, beanie, and scarf set. Oh, how cute! Okay. Star Wars R2D2 Deluxe six scale figure by Sideshow Collectibles. Why? Oh, mm. Oh, but actually, you gotta eat. Okay. Game Vice for iPad. Go downstairs, Roman. Scott Pilgrim full set of color hardcover editions. And it has like all the little fuzzy things. Star Trek Titan's cha chair pool float, not actual size. And more. 20 times mini mega crate. This month we're giving away mega mini crates to 20 lucky looters. Keep an eye out for your inbox for one our announcements. Mini Batman Signal Justice League Superman 3D Puzzle. Oh, there's that. Um, that'd be awesome if I won that because I could sell a majority of that because I don't like Star Wars or I don't need a phone. The Death of Superman Lives. Okay then. And it's talking about that. Loot Crate is Harden headed to Pax Prime from August 28th to 31st. Come say hi and check out the Pax Exclusive Crate filled with epic gaming gear at our booth. Fallout 4 Limited Edition Crate coming soon. Hi, hey, Vault Dwellers. We're so excited for Fallout. We're so excited about Fallout 4 that we're putting together specially. Especially crate packed with some rare exclusive Fallout wearables and collectibles. We'll be sending out an email with more details soon. So crack open a Nuka Cola and keep your eye on your Pip Boy. So that'd be great. I mean, I've never played Fallout Boy. I mean, Fallout, but I'm pretty sure Jeremy would want to play it. And then it goes into what is in this month's crate. Basically, what you I've already said. This one's so cute, though. But yeah, this is my first loot crate, and obviously, and, um, I'm happy with it. I am going to keep this one. I'm going to keep this there. And obviously, they're making some of the Batman scissors. There's the little Batman symbol, the Joker, there's um that symbol, the anarchy symbol. Uh, I don't know who that is. There's like the penguin stuff. And then there's like the Joker and Harley Quinn. And then, like the, I guess they're watching him fight. So from a show. Um I'm actually doing uh little photo shoot for Jeremy's birthday, um, and I'm going to be Harley Quinn. So I did this myself. I didn't have any help this time. Yes, it's supposed to like, look the way it is, because whatever. Um, but I'm going to, I got new makeup from Sephora, and I'm going to dress up as Harley Quinn, attempt to look like Harley Quinn, and do like a little photo shoot, but like also do like, kind of like a sexy, sexy thing for him for his birthday. So that's gonna be good. Um there will be behind the scenes not for the sexy part but for like the Harley Quinn part. Um so until next time. Bye guys.